So I'm a gay Jew from Britain with a black boyfriend who really likes the Bible and guns and really doesn't like taxes. Uh, so I'm kind of a, a walking disproof of the identity politics that underpins so much left-wing thought in America. And, and like, so my book is mapped out. The chapters are all lists of people who don't like me. But the kind of the joke is that actually lots of those groups in fact do. Or at least that the ones who are thinking for themselves do. It's one of those unsayable truths for conservatives because they already think of, they already think there's this weird correlation between gays and, and pedophiles. And just to say something like that in an incautious fashion, I think played into all the worst fears of, you know, the Republicans and things. Young gay teens have a very challenging home environment when their mum and their dad are not supportive. And very often they form relationships with other gay men a little older who kind of encourage them to be confident in themselves and let them know it's okay to be them, you know? Now, occasionally, there is a sexual component to that relationship. Sometimes that develops. And that's what I was talking about, and I did it incautiously, and I did it, you know, in sloppy language. But the fundamentals of it are, are perfectly true. And if I want to joke about a priest who, you know, did whatever he did to me when I'm younger, I'm entitled to do so, and I will continue to do so, as I do in the book. Wait a minute, so the CEO of Simon & Schuster, her name is Carolyn Reedy. I haven't so told any other interviewers this, but... Um, I've done some preliminary research into this, and my understanding is that the guy is dead now. So, I don't know. I'll think about it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I want to turn it into a big circus for six months, you know, name and shame of whatever. If the guy's dead, he's dead. I mean, I think Trump was the most gay-friendly candidate in American electoral history, in presidential history. I think he's probably the most gay-friendly president in history because of what he does, not what he says. Uh, he said he would not seek to, to change you know, gay marriage or equal marriage, as the, as the left calls it. Um, he said he didn't mind you know, what bathroom Caitlyn Jenner wants to use. Soundly, completely unimpressed by Ariana Grande's reaction to the concert when she should have turned around and struck a blow in culture for the supreme and, 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 and great values of Western civilization instead of just saying, oh, love wins, let's end hate. You know, like, what does that even mean? You are condemning neo-Nazi and say all right groups. Is that what you're saying? You kidding me? They hate me. People on the far right hate me as much as the far left. The, uh, the Daily Stormer, which is the, the neo-Nazi hub of the internet, declared a holy war on me. They said they, said they were going to take a crusade against me. I, I was, in their words, the single greatest threat to their movement. And, and, and they said they were going to boycott Breitbart until Breitbart fired me. This is what, the pre you know, what you'll never know from just reading news stories about me, is that the far right hates me as much as the far left does.